hey guys welcome back to angular 10 spring boot crude full stack application tutorial series alright guys our angular application is up and running on port 4200 in this video let's go ahead and let's explore important folders and files in our angular app generated by angular cli let's begin with package.json file so package.json file contains the name of the project version of the project and a few scripts to run angular application to build angular application and to test angular application and this is the dependency section inside a dependency section we define all the dependencies and its version required to run our angular application so notice here we are using angular 10 which is latest release of angular and look at here we are using dev dependencies so basically package.json file contains all the tools libraries and packages which are required to run our angular application and package.json file which which looks like um, pom.xml in marvin project so whenever we use the command npm install it will install all the dependencies and its version in node underscore modules folder likewise in marvin project so pom.xml contains all the dependencies and plugins right so whenever we run the command like marvin install uh, marvin clean install then basically marvin will uh, download all the dependencies from the internet and it will store in a local repository so similarly when we run the command npm install so node.js will basically download and install all these dependencies in node underscore modules folder all right so this is all about package.json and we have tsconfig.json file so this file uh, related to TypeScript configuration and it internally call tsconfig.app.json and tsconfig.spec.json well so we write a TypeScript code in angular application right and browser don't understand the TypeScript so these are the few TypeScript configuration files that will that will convert a TypeScript code into JavaScript so that browser can able to compile and run the angular application so next is node underscore modules folder so this folder contains all the dependencies packages that are required to run angular application and this folder will basically generate when we uh, create our angular app using angular cli and whenever we use npm command to install any javascript libraries or packages so these library in packages are will get you know stored in this local folder that is node underscore modules folder next is src folder so all your development goes inside src folder within src folder you can find main.ts file so this is a very important file and this is the entry point of our angular application next is index.html file so this is the single file which will get served in a browser and we are uh, developing single page application so we should have only one html file and it in turn update uh, the same html file so look at here app root so this is the selector which uh, we have configured in app component and this selector in turn uh, get call app component html template okay great next is app module so app module is a root module of our application and inside this module we configure you know components in declare, declarations array and other modules dependent modules inside imports array and we configure providers like services and within a, a app module we bootstrap and kickstart app component and app component is our root component well angular application can have any number of modules but it should have at least one module and that is called app module or root module okay and angular application can have any number of components but it should have at least one component that is called a root component or app component understood and next is uh, polyfills so this is related to browser uh, uh, specific uh, to support different browsers so this file will uh, you know take care and styles.css so here we basically globally uh, you know configure uh, css files and this is a test.ts file which is related to test cases in angular application and this is an environments folder 
so all the environments uh, uh, you know configurations goes inside this folder and assets folder contains a static files like images uh, javascript files css files etc and this is the app routing modules uh, we basically configure a routing of our angular application so this is a pretty much about uh, you know the files and the important files in our angular application now let's see how the control flows in our angular application so look at here main.ts file so this is the entry point of our angular application and the control first comes to the main dot and main.ts file in turn bootstrap and kickstart app module using bootstrap module method and app module in turn bootstrap and kickstart app component app component is our root component and app component has a property called title and this title will be uh, you know rendered inside app component html template so it's this is how the control flows in angular application thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in next one